Okay, uh, we're here in the stainless steel department. Uh, what we have over here is we're in the process of uh, fitting up some stainless steel tanks that will have the polyethylene lining in it. It's going to be used for, they're going to store helicopter blades in their transportation. And uh, so this is uh, one of the projects that we have going on. And we haven't showed you guys stainless steel yet, but we actually do uh, process uh, quite a bit of uh, stainless steel polyethylene uh, line tape. Over here, um, these are a set of heads. We are going to be building a 20,000 gallon water pressure tank uh, for a process company that's called Ball Corporation. They make aluminum cans for the beer industry and stuff like that. This actually is going to be uh, 12 foot diameter, 24 foot long. It'll set up on some saddles and whatnot. And uh, it's just going to be a uh, a water process tank for them. So this is the beginning of it, the heads well, of the tank. Uh, we try to buy our steel uh, directly from a big service center. Uh, so what you're looking at right here is a 3 16 coil. We buy about a 40,000 pound coil so our cranes can pick it up. And whenever we uh, get into the fabrication mode, one of the methods that we use, we just unroll the coil, the amount of steel we need, and uh, we can easily roll it and, and build, a, uh, you know, build a shell. This eliminates us having to piecework a bunch of small pieces together and ultimately it's quicker for us to build the tank and less, uh, the less welding you have to do, the less chances you have to have uh, imperfection. So we've come up to the conclusion that if we buy the steel rye, ultimately it could be more competitive. So it's one of our edges out there that how we do things when we build. Okay, what we have here, this tank we're actually built for Caltrans. Uh, it will have hot asphalt emulsion. It's one of the tanks that we work with and we have large projects ongoing. Um, this is a 3,000 gallon. They asked the tank to be sloped, so the, the hot asphalt has an automatic gravity feed on the end. And we fabricated a catwalk on the top. And uh, the guy, uh, Cheppy over here with the green forklift, that's the ladder that's going to be connected to it. The, for transportation purposes, we make the catwalk where it can be removed and you know, shipped and then you put it all back together on the end. So. Uh, this is a hot asphalt tank for uh, okay, Caltrans. The tank right now, this is a 20,000 gallon capacity. It's being uh, prepared uh, for uh, sulfuric acid storage. It's uh, very corrosive and uh, the polycarbon, uh, the polyethylene on the inside actually is very, very uh, good for storing that. So uh, it's one of our best sellers and uh, uh, we're doing a few of them. Okay, right uh, this is another polycarbon tank that we're doing right now. Uh, this one is going to have um, a little bit of pressure in it. It's going to be used for an anaerobic digester. It's highly corrosive. Uh, uh, this company is Hilderis Dairy, and uh, in the dairies nowadays, they're doing a lot of uh, generating their own uh, energy using uh, uh, methane and whatnot. So we're building a pair of these for uh, Hilderis Dairy with a very heavy floor and a very heavy roof when we get done building it, and it's able to handle 10 psi. So polycarbon is, is uh, starting to introduce our line of uh, uh, pressure tanks along with the poly inside. So uh, we're very excited about that. Over here and behind you will be, that's the roof. So, okay, so this is the roof of the Hildare Dairy. Uh, it's like cone roof and a uh, nice little pitch. We have a pair of these tanks that we're doing right now. Here's some of the shells and whatnot that we're rolling. Okay, over here, this is Graphics International. This is going to be a, a double wall UL-142 with a polyethylene liner. Uh, this tank is in construction right now for Graphics International. Uh, they're a big uh, uh, paper recycling company in the Bay Area. And this is just the inside of the roof for showing the reinforcements. This will be polylined and it'll be, be put out into their process area for a, a very corrosive chemical storage. So uh, we're proud to be able to have um, one of our first tanks, it'll, it'll actually be a UL, UL label tank with a polyethylene liner. So we've got a couple of new things going on that we're doing, we're pretty excited. Okay, this is, uh, this is um, artistic home builders tank. This is actually just going to be a carbon steel tank with an epoxy lining. Um, it's actually one, finally, since the tank is building their own, polycarbon has so many tanks on order right now. Uh, everything you're looking at, it's all polycarbon stuff, but this is actually just a standard steel tank. It'll be uh, a fire protection tank out in front of a, a business in Sacramento. So um, you're just seeing it in process. It's 12 foot diameter and 36 foot tall. 
25,000 gallon Thank tank. you for visiting our YouTube channel. Please subscribe below.